Well, it's video you won't see anywhere else. Take a look here. Security cameras captured a car, pull up next to a dumpster, and leave a litter of kittens behind. Channel 11's Melanie Marsalco is live now with what investigators are doing to find the people responsible. Melanie. Well, Joe, at this point tonight, humane officers are still trying to identify the two people that can be seen in this video. They're also still trying to track down that mother cat because she has not been seen since. But they do have surveillance video they want you to see. Take a look. I'm angry, I'm devastated, and I'm heartbroken for these kittens and for the mother cat. Disturbing and disheartening video. A litter of kittens and their mother cat dumped off and abandoned by a dumpster in the middle of the night. The car had pulled up behind um, a building where the dumpster is, and the female individual took the cat and the kittens out of the car and put them behind it, the building at the dumpster. And that is illegal to do. It happened over the weekend near the Big Lots and M&M Leather Store off of Greengate Road and Route 30 in Hempfield Township. Humane officers started investigating after the video surfaced on social media. You see the kitten come running out and see her bringing more out and it's just, it's running back and forth. It's just like, it's, it's lost. Like, what do I do? You know, um, and then she just gets back in the car and, and, and she takes off. The kittens were all rescued and are safe tonight, but the mother cat is still out there. Investigators are now doing everything they can to try and track down the man and woman seen in this video to hold them accountable. People who do these kinds of things are cowards. I mean, there's so many rescues out there. Um, there's so many shelters. There's so many other options. I mean, just, just reach out. I mean, social media has so many open doors. I mean, just, just reach out to somebody. And humane officers tell me once they do identify the man and woman seen in that video, they do expect to file criminal charges. Reporting live in Westmoreland County tonight, I'm Melanie Marcelco for Channel 11 News.